greeting Local 26-7 QE members. This video is specifically for you. You have um, up until October 15th to take the IT support assistant exam. It is very important that if you are fully provisional that you take this IT support assistant exam. Now, don't worry um, if you feel that you're not prepared, still take it because we can always appeal a disqualification if, you, if you're disqualified. And we can also appeal if you got a score less than you deserve. That's a service that DC 37 provides to our members through the general counsel's office. What's more important is that you take this exam because it's the only open competitive exam that will be given in a series of all the IT exams that, that will be coming out within the next three to four years. So we have we, we successfully sued CUNY, forcing them to, make, to give these exams because it's been over 12 years since a CUNY exam was given for IT professionals. So the agreement states that they will hold they will only do one open competitive exam, which is the IT support assistant, which is our lowest position in that title for our local. So that means if you're IT senior associate and you're fully provisional, then you need to take this exam because all subsequent exams will be promotional only. What the good thing is with, um, with our positions is that you're allowed to have two titles. You're allowed to have a fallback title, which may be a lower title, or a title that is, um, you can be, permanent as an IT support assistant and still be working as an IT senior associate. So if you are fully provisional, you have to take this exam because all the other exams, because next year they'll be given an IT assistant. Sorry. Next year they'll be given an IT assistant exam and it's going to be promotional only. So if you don't take this exam, then you will be cutting yourself off from taking all any other exams coming up in, in the upcoming years. So the year after the after next year, they're going to be doing the IT associate. And like I said, you have to be permanent in order to in a lower underlying title in order to take these exams. So make sure that if you provisional, you have to take it. If you have a permanent civil service title, I, I say don't rest on your laurels. Make sure and verify with your HR that you are permanent. Um, because we're finding out and I've gotten calls that are from people who said that they thought they were permanent. And they thought they were picked up off the civil service list and they found out they were not. So make sure that you are permanent. Verify that because October 15th is the last day you can file for this exam. So please, so if you, if you know for a fact and have proof that you are permanent, fine. Then say that you're an IT assistant, uh, IT associate, and you're permanent. Well, no, you don't have to take this exam. But if you want to, um, you have, you'll be given the chance to take the IT senior associate exam maybe two, three years from now, because they're gonna give it, they're gonna give a different one, a higher exam every year. So you, if you're permanent, then you should not have to worry, but if you're not, or you're not sure, take the exam. It's, what, it's the best money you will spend over the next four years. And then, like, then there'll be subsequent exams given so you can have a chance to move up. So I just wanted to make sure that this message gets out to you. If you have any questions, you or everybody knows how to reach me. My phone number is on the local website, local 2627. So good luck and I pray everyone does well. Thank you.